What's going on my fellow game developers and welcome back to episode 2, part 2, lesson 2 of the 2D platformer series we're doing in Godot. Now in this one we're going to look at adding animations to our character as well as flipping the character to face the way he is moving. So over here let's just give this a little full screen. You can see he now runs, his feet will run, he can jump and he has a little jump animation and he also just stands still and also he will face the way he is running which is obviously what you want. So now we have a full animated looking character. Now this is actually quite easy and straightforward to do. So let's open our tutorial project. Okay guys, so now as you can see here, I have our project which we've created. It's obviously doesn't look as good as the other one. And yeah, well, we don't have any animation. So let's start off by getting the character to look in the direction we are currently uh, running in. So go over to your player scene and just open up the script and down uh, by our move and slides, just above this where we have our direction, let's add in a, a little comment here to say flip the sprite uh, to face the direction it is moving in. Then what we do is say if direction is not equal to zero, so if, if we are moving, and our sprite, oh, we need to actually get access to our sprite up here. So underneath this, underneath our variables, I'm gonna drag in our sprite by holding control and dropping it in. And that's gonna give us a sprite 2D here. So I could say sprite.flip h is equal to direction is greater than zero. Now, what this is gonna do is if this is below zero, if the direction is below zero, it will uh, set this to false. If the direction is greater than zero, so if we are going right, I believe, it will flip the sprite to face right. So let's hit save and hit play. And now as you can see, our character turns round depending on uh, which way we are running. And also the reason we put in this if statement here, because this would work without this, but this if statement stops it. So if you're going left and you let go, it stops it from flipping uh, back round to the way you were facing. Um, it will keep you facing the way you were moving in. So it won't flip back. So the next thing we want to do is actually add a new component to our characters. I'm just going to go to a 2D scene. And I want to add in an animation player. Now on this animation player, if we... Uh, if we click on animation and click animation new, we're gonna create an idle or idle animation. And we're gonna tick this little box here. This just tells us this is the animation to play when the game starts. So all we're gonna do is go back to our sprite and we are gonna to go to frames and we're gonna click this key here and create. That is all we need for our um, idle animation. I also like to change this to frames per second. I'm just going to put this down to two or like this. Then once we've got our idle animation, which will play by default, we then want to create a new animation and I'm going to call this one jumping or we could probably actually rename it to jump, but I'm going to keep us jumping for now. Again, putting this down to just two, maybe even, well, yeah, two frames will be fine. Then all we need to do is set the frame to one where his legs are open and select create. So this is our jump frame and this should also be at zero. So this is just gonna, so when we're jumping, all we're gonna do is open the character's legs and then when we land back on the ground, we'll switch back to the idle or running animation. Now the next one is a bit more complicated only because we're gonna be using multiple frames. So far we've only used singular frames because uh, these animations are quite simple. If you had a much more complex idle animation, you'd probably set this along as well. Let's click new and just change this to say running. Now in our running animation, I'm going to just go again, go back to our sprite. And the first frame is gonna be the zero frame chord or zero frame. We're gonna hit add and create. And then on our first one, we're gonna up this and add a keyframe. And then on number two, we'll go back to zero and add the keyframe back. We're also going to reset this to two frames per second. So we get a nice, if we play this, oh, we also need to set it to be looping, which is this key down here. This will tell it to continue to loop. 
and we actually want to go back to our jumping and also set it to looping as well and we can also do it with our idle although it's not necessary because it should default back to this anyway and there you go now when we play idle it stays jumping it stays and running will have this little running animation now how do we actually play these animations inside of our game well first we want to go back to our script and we're going to create a new function called handle animations uh, we're going to set this to be a void and i'm just going to pass it for one second and then up here underneath our sprite 2d we want a reference to our animation player so we also want to pass into our handle animations the direction our player is facing. Now, what we want to do here is go uh, underneath our direction, or sorry, our flip here. We just want to say handle animations and pass in the direction as well. And then we can easily just use an if, and then we're going to say abs, which stands for absolute. It means, let's say this number was minus 0.5. This would convert it to just be 0 0.5. It would make it a positive number. Uh, and we want to pass in direction here. And we just want to check it's greater than 0 0.1. This is like our dead zone. So if we're moving very slowly, we won't run the animation because it might look out of place. We also want to check if we are on the floor. Now, Godot has a built-in function called is on floor. So we're just checking if we're moving. So if our direction has a value better than 0 0.1, um, we can then say animation player dot play and then we can say running now this will play our running animation but we also need to then do an else if and say if we're not is on floor so if we are jumping or in the sky we are just going to use animation player dot play and we are going to set it to be our jumping animation now finally we are just going to say animation player dot play and we're just going to set it to be the idle animation by default so if none of these are true we're going to reset back to our idle animation and just let that play along so let's actually test this out by just smacking that play button and there you go you can see we have our character running he can jump um, and you can see when he's jumping he actually has the legs open and then when he's running he will do it and he also the animation since we flipped the sprite already the animation will play whichever direction we are running. So the animation will be flipped also, which is great. That's exactly what we want. And that's all we need to do to actually add in the actual animations to our player. Super straightforward. A lot of the features are already built into Godot, which helps out a lot and makes this a lot quicker. The next thing we're going to be adding into this is probably going to be some sort of collectible item, UI, or even an enemy or some way to destroy the player and reset the player. Let me know what you would like to see down below in the comments and I will work on that. So that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget you can get the source code for this video or this specific lesson down below. All you have to do is support the channel by becoming a member on Patreon. You can also join our community and ask some questions if you get stuck on Discord. The link is also down below. But that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.